Hello, this is Nat Calloway, the covering analyst for Farnext, and we're joined by Farnext's CEO, David Horn Solomon, today. Hello, David, and can you give us, please, an introduction to Farnext? Yes, thank you, and a pleasure to be here. Uh, Farnext is a uh, listed biotech company on the Paris uh, Stock Exchange, uh, and we are focused on developing medicines based on pleotherapy. Pleotherapy being the idea that polypharmacology or the idea that <clears throat> diseases are often caused by defects in more than one pathway or that more than one pathway uh, is responsible for the pathophysiology of um, many diseases. And so based on these concepts and uh, the underpinnings of our platform that are big data and, um, and uh, artificial intelligence, we have developed a series of medicines and the first and leading one is called PXT3003. It's a combination medicine of three components that um, is used in the treatment of charcomary tooth disorder, um, a progressive uh, peripheral neuropathy that affects uh, people owing a genetic defect in the uh, PMP22 gene. That's very, that's very interesting. Can you uh, give us a little bit more background of this pleotherapy, pleotherapy platform and how exactly uh, it's used to develop drugs? We, um, we develop a disease network where we look at um, genes that are associated with diseases on one hand and all of the pathways that those genes are implicated in and then how um, gain of function of those genes or elements of those pathways may ultimately perturb um, or um, affect the, the disease state. And so what we've noticed in our uh, work in terms of uh, charcomary tooth, charcomary tooth, as I uh, mentioned, is owing a, a defect in the PMP22 gene, in point of fact, a duplication of the gene. And so um, you have inappropriate um, uh, processing of a myelin gene it results in the myelin sheath of peripheral nerves being disturbed. And when myelin sheath, which is essentially insulation around nerves, is disturbed, you don't get the full conduction um, along nerve fibers to end muscle plates or returning to the central nervous system, the brain. And so the disease that people suffer here um, is uh, muscle atrophy, weakness, uh, sensory loss, and ultimately that affects all matters of, um, of activities of daily living. So these patients are, start off on an unstoppable uh, decline, unfortunately, many ending up in wheelchairs. So our pleotherapy platform was designed to essentially identify uh, combination medicines that could um, prevent the overexpression of PMP22. And one such combination, a fixed dose combination of naltrexone, baclofen, and sorbitol, actually does that well. Two of these medicines alone don't do it, single ones don't do it, but the triple combination of these medicines acting on different signal transduction pathways in, uh, in neurons and associated cells results in downregulation of PMP22 and in animals behavioral changes such as increased grip strength in animals that have uh, charcomary tooth. And in humans, um, clear, clear data, including in phase three, that um, the decline is, um, is uh, slowed, prevented, or even reversed. And we think that is enormously encouraging. That's all very interesting. And to give us a, a bit more background into charcomary tooth, how common is the disease and how is it currently treated? So it's actually one of the most common, rare or orphan diseases known. Probably the um, incidence or prevalence might be north of a million people worldwide. But in terms of the number of people that have the subtype charcomary tooth, it's usually around 50% of those with charcomary tooth. And um, we are aiming to treat patients with mild to moderate disease that can still be reversed. So we're, we're targeting approximately 100,000 patients um, in the US and, uh, and Europe. And uh, currently there is no therapy. Um, there is no way to reverse the peripheral neuropathy seen in these uh, patients over time. Uh, so we are, in fact, the first medicine in late clinical stage development and, um, and the only medicine really at, at this, at this uh, level of efficacy in the disease. Um, the current therapies really are supportive care. Uh, patients often have significant pain owing charcomary tooth, including neuropathic pain, and for that they receive analgesics. And um, often these patients have 
you know, a lot of distress and a lot of depression owing the, their declining state. And therefore, um, the second most commonly prescribed medicines are antidepressives, including SSRIs like sertraline, et cetera. So um, we will be the first specific medicine to address the defect in Charcot-Marie Tooth, and we think our medicine has shown great promise. So you mentioned that this drug is in late stage clinical trials. Can you tell us a little bit more about the clinical development of the drug to date? We have successfully completed uh, phase two studies. We have completed phase three studies that had promising results, albeit owing a manufacturing problem were not interpretable and uh, were not sent to FDA. But we have gotten FDA guidance recently uh, that suggests a clear path and a blessing towards an NDA filing and therefore, we have proposed a new protocol uh, uh, of a pivotal phase three study under the FDA's guidance. And we will begin those studies uh, in, within Q1 of 2021. We're in high, uh, in high preparation right now, uh, getting ready to launch such a study. 350 patients, upwards of 400 sites, uh, mostly uh, US and also Europe and some globally. And uh, we've chosen a CRO and we're working uh, round the clock to, to launch that study. All right, that's very exciting. And what other uh, news should we be looking out for from the company here over the next 12 months? Well, I think the first news obviously that will be so impactful will be uh, the first dosing of uh, PA3003 in shark tooth. So we can expect that within, um, within uh, Q1 of 21. We're also conducting uh, an extension study where, uh, in an open label uh, mode, patients that were on the earlier uh, phase three study are continuing to get the high dose of the medicine, again, open label. Uh, there are over 133 patients that are currently still taking our medicine. And uh, every year around January, we announce the ongoing results um, of that extension study. And I expect that um, early in 2021, we'll also, again, announce uh, further results of these patients in terms of uh, the, the efficacy, safety, and tolerability of uh, our medicine 3003 in Charcot-Marie Tooth. All right, that's a great introduction to the company and thank you again for joining us and we'll be watching very closely. Thanks yeah, again. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks so much.